Okay. Let's show you a, show you a basic mix that'll work like like clay. And uh, if we can get finer sand than what I've got, it makes it all the better. It's for a more easily work mix. So here's five cups of fine sand. And then what I'm going to add to that to make this a one half part to one cement. There's five cups. There's ten cups of cement to five cups of sand. To that, I'm going to add, if I add one cup of metacalin, that's 10%. If I add two cups, that's 20%. Now we could stop right there, mix that up, and that would give us a nice clay mixture. However, I'm going to put some fiber in it. So, to that, I'm going to add about half a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup, of PVA fiber. Next step is to mix the dry ingredients. the secret. You're adding liquid. I have 10 cups of cement. I want to only add five cups of liquid, at least to begin with. Half the amount of cement, because I do not want this to get in any way, shape, or form runny. This is going to end up fairly dry. forming clumps of balls. I'm going to quit there. I'm not going to mix anymore with power mix. What I'm going to do is get down here with my gloves. I'm going to start mixing by hand. And I feel how dry it is. So I add just a little bit more liquid. And I start kneading it like I'm making bread dough. Tiny, tiny amounts of water or liquid at a time. Stuff out of the corners in the bucket. Work this, not like it was kneading bread dough and you feel it start to turn into a clay mixture. Finally, 
get it to the point of needing it that it's like clay. This needs just a tiny bit more. Feel the dry stuff in it. Gotta be careful how much I add. You can make this in smaller quantities for a small craft project. We keep the ratio half part sand, a fine aggregate like pumice, to one, one part cement, and half part liquid, and work it until it is the consistency that you want. And there's what I've got. Now if it didn't have the fiber in it, this would be very much like a potter's clay. And you can shape that, you can mold it, you can carve it, you can sculpt it. And what I'm going to do is Put it on the underside of on the chicken wire of my project out back. There we are. That's it. That's clay like clay like concrete. That's it. Pick it up and show you how it works. Please, I'll show you how this works is on the basic structure. Here we have a rebar with chicken wire placed around it. And I'm simply going to take this chunk of this, flatten it out like a pancake, and we'll put it on the underneath side. And I'm simply going to squeeze it in and Smooth it out together like so. Push it well into the chicken wire matrix. And water on my gloves. Today it's well over 90 degrees today, so it's a tough day to work squeezing this into the matrix and then I can just draw it out smooth. Reneed it again. We'll bring it out of the bucket. Flatten it. Whoa. Chicken wire and squeeze it in. More. Need it again. Flatten out. Chicken wire. That's your initial coat. Come back after this hardens. Put another layer of chicken wire and another layer of this concrete. Alright, here we have an area where an area where chicken wire has been applied for a second coat. <clears throat> First coat is dried. Well, what we do is take some water and we wet that. This being concrete. 
knead it again, flatten it out. And I'm going to push this in there. Hi Chip, how are you? And it's hot today. needs to be moistened, get it with a spray. Now if this were a finishing coat then I could tool it. The grain or whatever it was that I wanted to do. That's so how she works. So let's Mold it. 